Hi, my name is Lady Jean. Today I would like to share a country that I want to travel that is Iceland. I will talk about the introduction of Iceland, a country must be visited once in a lifetime and some famous places that only can travel in Iceland. Iceland is a Nordic Iceland country and it is close to the Arctic Circle and its capital is Reykjavik. Iceland has a population of 350,710 people and it is the most specially populated country in Europe. Most people are descendants of Vikings. In Iceland, we no need to worry about our safety because Iceland has very low climate rate. So, their public security is very good. The first place that I suggest to go is Reykjavik. This is a walkable city with many museums, restaurants, attractions, public art and entertainment. Reykjavik also is known as the capital of literature because they have the highest per capita ratio of books and periodical published in the world. In the city, we can see the modernist icon How Green Christian Church. It is the tallest and most recognizable building in the Iceland. Besides, Icelanders do like fast food, so they don't have McDonald's, but we can enjoy the local cheese or try the authentic Iceland hot dog in the town. The second place I suggested is the Blue Lagoon. This natural hot spring is truly a way in spirit, with its azura blue waters contrasting against the surrounding lava landscapes. When soaking in the blue lagoon, we can listen to the sound of nature, experiencing Iceland unicorns and ministrious atmosphere. In the night, we also can watch the northern lights in the night sky. Iceland has the most special location that is the whole island is in the aurora zone. It's making it is the only country in the world where we can see the aurora throughout its entire territory. Next is the very famous place in Iceland is Skatafell Ice Cap in the Red Channel National Park. In the south of the country, it is a land of glaciers and magnificent and amazing ice cap that attracts many adventures from the global. Last but not least, the place that I want to suggest is Rainy's Jara Black Sand Beach. This unicorn beach is known for its black sand and rocky sea stack. This is the most unlike place in the world. So, this place is often appearing in the movies like the movie Star Trek Into Darkness. In conclusion, Iceland is a very beautiful country and has its unique natural scenery and many unique travel projects that are only available in Iceland. That's all for me, then let's us pass to my friend Penny. Bye! Stephanie, I would like to share about the country that I want to go is Korea. The content of this vlog will focus on several parts, which is brief introduction to fast fact, geography, food, and K-pop of Korea. The first part is brief introduction to fast fact. The official name of Korea is Republic of Korea. Seoul is the capital of Korea. The population of Korea is around 51,995,000. Besides that, the official language is Korean, and the official currency of Korea is called won. Next, the second part is geography. Korea is located in East Asia. Today, this country is split into South and North Korea, and I will focus on South Korea. Furthermore, the third part is Brief introduction to food. First is panchan, also known as side dishes. We will almost always find at least one variation of kimchi, such as the famous spicy fermented cabbage. You might also get the yellow daikon pickle with onions, damuji, fried onion pancakes, pachon, and others. Next, the drink that represents Korea is soju and makgeolli. It is ubiquitous in Korea. Moreover, the last part of this vlog is brief introduction to K-pop. K 
K-pop has become popular since the early 2000s due to the growth of the internet and the social media. The most popular K-pop groups are EXO, BTS, BLACKPINK, TWICE, TREASURE, and others. The big four of K-pop entertainment companies are SM Entertainment, YG Entertainment, JYP Entertainment, and also HYPE Entertainment. These four entertainment companies have brought big help to Korea's economy. To conclude, Korea is a country worth traveling to. I hope everyone can travel to Korea in the future. That's all from me. Next, I will pass to my friend Jin Shen to share her point. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi everyone. My name is Jin Shen. Today, I would like to be share about the country that I want to travel is New Zealand. The content of this video will focus on several parts, which is geography, brief introduction to fast food, traditional food, traditional dessert, and tourist attraction in New Zealand. First of all, New Zealand is an Iceland country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. It consists of two main land masses, which is North Island and South Iceland and over 700 small Iceland. The geography of New Zealand is highly varied from snow-capped mountain to lowland plains. Other than that, fast food in New Zealand is the capacity of New Zealand is Wellington and its most popular city is Auckland. As of April 2023, the total population of New Zealand is 5.22 million, which is 70% of Europe immigrant Lesson and 70% are Maori. The official language in New Zealand is English and Maori. Moreover, the traditional food can found in New Zealand is Maori hangi fish. The Maori hangi fish is prepared in the traditional earth clean. Nowadays, hangi meals are mostly cooked on special occasion. Hangi will include chicken, pork, pumpkin, potato, and sweet potato. In addition to traditional food, there are also can found traditional dessert in New Zealand, which is honey pocky ice cream. Honey pocky ice cream is a vanilla flavored ice cream with creepy honey crook toffee bowl. Candy is palawa. Palawa is a dessert with a merit base topped with whipped cream and served with fresh food. Palawa is a must have dessert on the Christmas table. Furthermore, we also can find tourist attraction in New Zealand, which is Otago Peninsula. Otago Peninsula is a peninsula on the east coast of New Zealand's South Islands, known for its rich wildfowl and stunning coastline. In there, we can see penguin, sea lion, and other among wildlife. Secondly is Rotora. Rotora, located at the central part of North Islands, is an area which in geothermal activity. In Rotora, we can also visit the Maori cultural village and experience hot spring treatment. Lastly, I hope everyone can travel to New Zealand in the future. That's all for me. Next, I will pass to my friend Selena to share her point. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, my name is Senia Saibal. So today, I want to talk about the country that I want to travel, which is Thailand. I'm really excited to share with you all to talk about the thing that Thailand has offered, such as a beautiful beach, a delicious food, tourist culture heritage, and there are many places that will be discovered in this incredible country. First. Let's talk about basic thing about Thailand. Thailand is located in South Asia and it's not a tropical climate, beautiful landscape and the friendly people. The official language of Thailand is Thai and the country has a population around 69 million people. The capital of Thailand is Bangkok which is a bustling metropolis with a vibrant nightlife. One thing that I really love about uh, Thailand is about the culture heritage. 
This is because the country is the number one of the ancient temple and also the historical site that are definitely worth it to visiting. The culture is also known for its emphasis on a respect and the hospitality which is it make it a very people welcoming and also the Thailand is friendly place to visit. And of course, we can talk about a Thailand without talk about a food. Thai cuisine is known for its a bold flavor and the fresh herbs and also a spicy flavor. Some of the famous dishes on a Thailand is include pad thai, curry, green, and also tom yum soup. There are some delicious foods such as samtam and kosai. If you're planning to go to Thailand, there are few places that you absolutely can to visit. One of my favorite places is the island of Phuket. This is because the island of Phuket is a one of the beautiful beach in the world. Another destination that you must to go is at Chiang Mai, which is the historical and a stunning temple. And if you're looking for a little bit of adventure, you can go at Chiang Rai, which is there are incredible hiking trail and a stunning natural scenery. That's all for today. I hope I can inspire to you all and can add Thailand to your travel bucket list. Thank you for watching. Bye.